Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another makeup what are these called? I haven't done this in so long. Welcome back to another makeup bin and get ready with me. I feel like it's gonna take me a while to like get back into the swing of doing this, but I took a little break over the summer and I honestly enjoyed it, but I'm also happy to be doing this again because I used the same makeup all summer, so I think it's good to, for me to do this and to just rotate through my makeup and make sure I'm using everything that I have. So yeah, I got so many comments saying that you guys missed these videos, so... I'm so happy to be doing them again for you guys. And happy September, what the heck? Can you guys believe it's September? I'm filming this on September 2nd, so I can't believe it. But anyway, obviously this, I finished the makeup look. So this is the look that I created for September. There's definitely some like oranges going on, some orange vibes. But still, there's like a little bit of summer left in the makeup I picked. It's like, I feel like a good mix of both. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get into picking the makeup. Where do I even begin? I haven't done this in so long. Also, let me move my smoothie out of the way. Okay, so I guess we start with complexion products, like base products, usually what I do. So I used this Kosas concealer all summer long, so I'm going to refrain from using this. And I think I'm gonna do my Peach C cushion and this Instant Age Rewind Concealer because in a few weeks, this will no longer work for my skin tone, so I want to use this while I can. Also, I'm going to do this Maybelline Fit Me one in case I want to like brighten up my concealer. So this one's like a little bit lighter. So yeah, these are going to be my complexion products. Also, I used this literally all summer long, the Bare Minerals Blonzer. So I'm not going to use this even though I really want to. But I think instead I'm going to do this MAC one. I feel like this is a good kind of like natural color, but still it's like good for the start of fall. This is in the shade So Natural. I kind of want to do this Kosas bronzer. I mentioned in my last vlog that I did that it's starting to smell bad and I do not know if that means that it's gone bad or if it's expired, expired. I don't know why I said it like that. I just like started to have a smell, but I have a lot of product left and I want to keep using it. So I'm just going to use this and I hope it's not bad for my skin. <laughs> okay, so eyeshadow palettes. For fall, let's see. I haven't used this one in a while, the Hello Kitty one. Like these are kind of fallish, and then the pink ones. I mean, maybe. It doesn't have to be like exactly fall eyeshadows. I want to use this, so I'm just going to use it. I used this literally all summer long, this Kaja Bento uh, Trio eyeshadow in the shade Chocolate Dahlia. Literally use this almost every single day of August. Maybe I'll just use the Hello Kitty one, honestly. Um, and then, oh, for brows, I want to use this more, this ColourPop Styling Wax. I feel like it is for certain looks because it does give like a very, um, what, what word am I going for? Like fluffy kind of like editorial soap brow kind of look. Not what I go for every day, but I do want to like use this more and see if I can create like a natural look out of it. So I'm gonna do this. And then maybe a Glossier Boy Brow in brown, if this one isn't dried up. Yeah, this one's still good. Okay, so for mascara, I use this all the time and I can now say that the M Cosmetics mascara is my favorite mascara of all time because it just washes off so easily and you have no idea how amazing that is. I hate when I have, still have like black mascara on under my eyes. I just, it really bugs me. So this is like my favorite thing ever, but I'm not gonna use it. I know it's probably bad to have this many mascaras open, but whatever. I'm gonna use the Nabla one because I forget what this one is like and I want to use it. And then maybe I'll do this Maybelline Lash Sensational. Haven't used that in a while. Moving on over to this drawer. Let's see, I do want a cream blush, but I do not know which one. Oh, my Rare Beauty one would be good for fall. I kind of want to do the Rare Beauty one. I feel like that would be good for September. Also Rosewood from Undone Beauty. A classic. I think I'm gonna do the um, Rare Beauty one though. 
Okay, then for highlights. I haven't used this Nabla one in a very long time. So I think I'm gonna do this Nabla highlighter in the shade Privilege. Very pretty packaging. And then anything from this drawer. I think I'm gonna do this ColourPop actually, Super Shock Shadow. I used this the other day and it just reminded me of how beautiful this is. I don't know if they still have this. This is from like the little sunflower collection that was so cute. And this is in the shade Flower Child, but it's like the perfect everyday gold eyeshadow, like just to put on top of any look, it'll just give it that beautiful shimmery, gorgeous gold shade. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, yeah, I think that's it. Now I'm gonna pick out some lip products and I'll show you guys what I picked. Okay, so I picked out so many fun colors for fall. I feel like we have a good variety. So this first one, sorry, I'm so bad at swatching, but this first one is this new Bite Beauty lipstick in Sugar Buns. And I've worn it a few times over the past few days. Um, they sent it to me just to try. And I really like it so far. I feel like it's a it's a pretty color. As you can see, it's kind of cool toned, but I think it'll be good for the fall if I want more of like a pink option. It's just like a dusty rose kind of color. Then this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Moon. Then the Glossier Gen G in Leo, like a neutral brown color. Then this is the Rare Beauty Matte Lip Souffle in, oh, in the shade Brave. I feel like that's such a fall color. It's like a pumpkin brown terracotta kind of color. And then finally, this is the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in Your Thriving, just like Kind of like a red pinky color, but I just wanted to swatch all of these for you guys. You can see what they look like. And also I pulled out this lip liner um, from M Cosmetics in the shade Kitten. I think it's like a nude kind of color, so it should go with some different options that I have there. But now I'm going to take all these products and put them in my container back there so I can get all organized for September. Okay, so now it is get ready with me time where I show you how I would use all of the products I picked for the month. Just the type of look I would create with them. So I always start recording and I like don't have anything I need. Why do I do this to myself? So here are the products. Um, where do I put this? My little like stool thing broke. So now I have nowhere to put anything. So I'll just put it in my lap. Hopefully you don't hear that noise. Okay, so first I'm going to use my Peach C cushion from the brand wait i think the brand is peach c yeah this is the honey glow cushion the brand is peach c um and it does come with a little puff but i'm gonna try and just use my sponge with it because i don't feel like using that i got so many comments over the summer when i stopped doing these videos being like when are you gonna start the makeup rotations again i miss your makeup rotations and I felt so bad, but I was just like taking a little break. But I guess some people, I don't even know what video I mentioned it in that I was taking a break, but um, I guess a lot of people didn't get the memo and they're like, why did you stop doing these? Yeah, I felt bad, but <laughs> I'm starting again. So hopefully all of you guys who watched uh, these videos come back and watch them again. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of this Maybelline concealer. I'm just gonna do a little bit. I really like the way my base is looking. I think that looks so good. I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzer with my broken Kosas bronzer. <laughs> okay, it doesn't smell too bad when I apply it. I feel like it's just a, something that you notice in the container, but I don't really smell it on my face, which is good. <laughs> a little bit on the forehead, and I just like to put it on my eyelids. Okay, and I'm gonna do the MAC blush in So Natural, the Glow Play blush. Why can I never say that? The Glow Play blush. I'm just feeling the more natural cheek today, I guess. And 
and again just going over the eyelids because I like doing that and I feel like by the time I get to my eyeshadow I'm always like oh wow my eyes look like they're almost done you just gotta like pop on a little bit of like shimmer or something and you're good to go if you just kind of like go like this so next I'm gonna do this little Nabla highlighter and I'm feeling putting highlight on my cheekbones today and I haven't done that in a long time I really miss this this is fun <laughs> I'm using products I haven't used in so long. It's like a little, well, it is a shot my stash. I don't know if this is a highlighting brush, but it'll do. I've been loving highlighting my cupid's bow recently. This is why I do my brows last, because I just run stuff all over my eyelids while I do my makeup. It'll highlight under my brow bone. Next, I'm gonna use this Glossier Boy Brow, which I haven't used in a very long time, so. It just tints my brows so much. I really like that. But on the flip side, it does kind of deposit a lot of pigment on the brow. I just kind of have to play with it so the pigment is in the right place. But once it is, like, it looks really good. Okay, now for the cutest palette of all time. The Hello Kitty and Friends ColourPop palette. Just gonna do, like, a quick little fall look. I think I'm gonna do this orange and this shimmer right here. shimmer is just so pretty okay so here is the eyeshadow I'm gonna do a little bit of the Nabla highlighter on my inner corners gonna do the Nabla mascara as well because I just haven't used this in a long time and I remember really liking it so what the heck that's so good why don't I use this more that looks so good it like lengthened them and separated them really nicely Oh my god, I just got mascara everywhere. And I am gonna do a little on the bottom lashes. Once this dries, I'm gonna go in and kind of fix that, but... Okay, so now for lips. What do I want to do? I really wanna use this just because I haven't used it in the longest time, the Rare Beauty Matte Lip Souffle. Let me see if that's gonna go with this M Cosmetics lip liner. That might actually work. So I'm gonna line my lips with this M Cosmetics lip liner in Kitten and then use the Rare Beauty Matte Lip Souffle in Brave. Okay, so that's like all I'm gonna do for lip liner because I don't wanna kind of really overline it. I've been smushing in all the tops of all of my lip products recently. I do not know why. I think I twist it all the way down, but then I don't and I just smush the top off. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna use this uh, matte lip souffle. Oh, how I missed this color. I could have worn it in the summer, but I just feel like it's such a fall color. I miss this lip color so much. I'm so happy fall is starting again. You have no idea. So I'm gonna go take off this little mascara mishap and I'm gonna actually get ready for the day and put on a different outfit. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm actually gonna do a few little changes. I feel like there just needs to be something on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take the orange that I used and um, this brown, these two right here, and just kind of run that under my lash line. I just feel like it's looking too bare under there. Yeah, that looks so, so much better. And then I thought I was fine with just this matte lip, but I think I do wanna throw some gloss on. I think it would just look a little bit better. And my lips are feeling kind of dry. I kind of want some gloss. Okay much better. Thank you guys so much for watching this makeup bin and get ready with me for September. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoy these and yeah thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone!